Alrighty then, Successful Indie Author 5-Minute Focus, Episode 625. I can't create because I'm too busy making money to survive. Alrighty then, there's Stanley sleeping. I can't create because I'm too busy making money to survive. Okay, first and foremost, you have to survive. Everything else is secondary to that. Uh, this dude named Maslow, he kind of studied this. You need air, you need food and water, you need shelter. After that, then you can start thinking about that other stuff, self-fulfillment, the id, the ego, the super ego. How do we satisfy ourselves? How do we satisfy our create creative side while still surviving? Because survival is going to be your primary duty for a significant part of your life. You need to sleep. You need to earn money so you can live. Even uh, you look at the Bible. Jesus even needed money. Everybody needs money to survive. So you have to do what you have to do there. However, is that your whole life? You are a creative after all. Your mind is always working. So not quite quitting because you have a job. So uh, what does that job entail? Make sure you get detailed tasks and notes and what you need to accomplish so you can then do that not that and everything under the sun oh hey mildred quit so uh you got to do her job now too okay then i'll take her pay thank you uh and that makes it easier you get more pay however they're not going to do that so no i'm not doing mildred's job i'm doing my job it's a full-time job <clears throat> because your breaks make sure you take your breaks make sure you take your lunch do not deny uh, you're, if you have employees, don't deny them that. And if you are an employee, don't give that up. Don't give that to your employer because then that will be a permanent expectation that you never need a break. You need breaks. Take your breaks. Take your lunch. And now, during that, that break or that lunch, how can you capture those ideas, those things you're thinking about while you're doing the other work? So this is this is where being, being the 21st century, it's nice. You can jot it down in a notebook or... You can use like the cool watch with the dictation feature and just drop yourself a few notes because the creative mind never stops working. Make sure, make sure that you feed it. Feed your creative mind. Feed your soul. So capture those ideas. They could be snippets of dialogue. Could be interaction between two characters. Could be a scene setup. Could be the action within the scene, landscape, world building ideas. All those things that go into making a story, all those things that feed your creative soul. I say do it at lunch. Do it Do it when you have the energy, even if it's a 10-minute break, because sometimes when you get home from work, you're exhausted, and the brain is almost shut down. Jeez, I need to eat, and you try to remember where the, where the stuff, where's the stuff. You look in your fridge. There's no food in there. There's only ingredients that you need to make food, so... Maslow's hierarchy needs air, food, water, shelter. Take care of that stuff. The other stuff will come. For me, I couldn't really write while I had other jobs, so I retired a second time before I started writing. Maybe I should have written earlier, and I did write stuff earlier, snippets, flash fiction, but I never took it seriously because I dedicated myself to my day job. Now, this is my day job, and I dedicate myself to it, and it's working great. Got to, got to earn first. Do not beat yourself up for having to earn money so you can live for Pete's sake. But feed your, feed your creative side, even if it's five or only ten minutes a day. You'll, you'll be, uh, you'll be happier for it and it will feed it even more. It'll generate more ideas and you'll have a great time within your own head because you're seeing it and living in a different world. Peace, fellow humans.